Before starting this benchmark video, I have to make an important announcement. From November to December, I want to focus on only benchmarking games from the 2000s, because I haven't tested as many games from that period as I would have liked to on this channel, and I'm quite desperate to benchmark a few great and quite familiar old classics, which means that during the last two months of 2022, I also won't be accepting requests for games that are made after 2009. I might make one or two exceptions, when I feel like to, or if one of you kids start spamming my comment sections, so that's the announcement, let's finally start this benchmark video. So, some time ago, I tested the sequel of the game that I'm about to test in this video, The Witcher 3, and it ran like absolute utter dog shit, even when I downloaded a config mod, and lowered the resolution to 640x400, the Intel HD graphics bay trail managed to squeeze out only about 8 FPS average, now, I know that trying out The Witcher 3 on this terrible hardware was a crazy idea, I mean it was obvious from the start that it would run like crap. But, the fact that I actually managed to get double digit FPS when I lowered the resolution to 320x200, leaves me with the hope that The Witcher 3's 2011 prequel might actually be playable. Let's find out. Holy crap, look at how well it runs, more than 100 FPS, and look at how beautiful the graphics are, except that again this is just a video, here's how the actual game runs. Bro what the fuck? Storm the tower! The gods are with us! Well that's much better.
cold as hell. Come on, Witcher. Witcher, we're waiting. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your best rules for forest. Where are we? In the forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Your vet, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. I smell an elf. And now let's see how it does at 640 by 400.
as hell. Come on, Witcher. Any news from your secret informant? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up on ice. What about roads through the forest? Your vest rules the forest. Overall, I'm really glad that The Witcher 2 is actually playable. Obviously it's not the greatest thing ever, but let's be honest here, we are running the PC Melter of 2011 on integrated graphics that were designed for Intel Atom CPUs, and yet it's still playable. If you ask me, I'm actually impressed. There is one last thing that I want to try out with this game though, and that is a config tweak, so stay with me. First, download this mod from Nexus Mods. I will provide the link to it in the description. After downloading it, extract it to documents. Witcher 2. Config. Open the tweaker and copy my settings. Or actually they are not my settings, but rather MOS Gaming's settings, so I guess credits to him. If you want to remove the black bars that the tweaker introduces, just open the user.ini file, and just below rendering add an aspect ratio equals 3 line for the 640 by 400 resolution, or equals 1 if you want to use a resolution with an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. Now we are done. So far, I don't feel a noticeable change with the performance. By the way, I will only try out the tweak at 640x400 p, because I don't want to make this video too long.
still not that much of a performance boost, interesting. In this forest area, I can actually feel an improvement compared to before here, so I don't know, maybe if you want a slightly smoother experience, and you don't mind the noticeable graphics downgrade, I guess download the mod, and follow my steps. I'm really glad that this game actually works alright even with these specs, as it's a beautiful RPG title, and still worth a playthrough even nowadays in my opinion. That's honestly all I have to say in this video.